welcome to this evening meditation session with me dhyanse which happens every monday from 7 to 8 pm in this session today i'm a bit drunk yes i'm a bit drunk not with alcohol not with any substances but with love with love for myself with love for you all with love for the entire world if you don't believe me look take a look into my eyes i'm drunk with love today perhaps this is because in the last days i was reading a lot of rumi a lot of his father's work bahuddin i don't know if any of you know about rumi or bahuddin these guys are persian guys sufi mystics from the 13th century their work has been a lighthouse in keeping the flame of love alive in this world since 1300 century until now if you ever get a chance of reading or going through the work of rumi going through the work of bahuddin all these sufi mystics it is simply a pleasure a delight to taste what they have to say to taste and just be getting intoxicated with all what they have to offer all the love that they have to share for the entire existence now this love that i'm talking about is not is not the attraction it's not the passion it's not the love that we that we usually know so what is this love let's try to understand that anybody anybody know what really love is anybody would like to share from from your experiences when you had moments of love what love is anybody i hope you guys had experienced love in the past or now or at some point of time in your life anybody come on guys <laughs> anybody well, yes well i think it goes far beyond um this as you said mutual attraction love between the sexes love between the people it goes far beyond that it goes into a kind of spiritual love you know love and existence for our existence for life for life the way it is for nature and and beyond yeah so one and 10 yeah so the love that i'm talking about is the is simply just the sense of this deep connection that we have with others with everyone with this entire existence So in this session if you would not also be drunk sooner than later you will be feeling very weird it's just like a party where you know you enter the party you're sober everyone else is drunk it's better that you also start drinking and get drunk as fast as possible so my hope is that in this session i can share my my love my silence my meditation with you and give you a taste of this love of this connection which is on a very deep level which as you referred as spiritual love or spiritual connection but what is it that is stopping us from experiencing this love what is it that is coming in the way when we want to feel the connection this deep connection with one person or with many people what what is it that comes in the way fear yes mind yes mind i think i mean related to that i mean we refrain sometimes from our side whether consciously or not because of uh yeah I mean, being afraid of being hurt maybe yes it's exposing yourself 
love uh, and, and maybe through experiences, uh, bad experiences, uh, people can yeah. do a shield and try to avoid it. Yeah, so it's fear, mind, fear of getting hurt, bad experiences. I'm talking one level deeper. If you break this down, it will be most likely the sense of I and the sense of you. The sense of I and the sense of the other. This is this separation that we create through the mind, the fear, the bad experiences. We create this boundary, the separation between the I and the other which does not allow us to feel this connection. This, who creates these, these boundaries? Who creates the separation between I and the other? When a child is born, who tells the child that this is I, this is the other, this is you, this is the other? If, imagine if we would not tell a child that there is an I and there is another. What happens as the child grows up without the concept of the I, the other, without the separation, the mental separation of I and the other? So it's a very beautiful notion to understand, to dive into, to go deep into it, to see if we can drop the I, drop the other, drop this boundary, drop this separation. A French philosopher, Jean-Paul Sautre, he said, the other is the hell. Which means that the separation that we have created, the other that we have created, is the reason why we feel misery. And if you analyze, if you go into the world that we have created for ourselves and the miseries that are created out of the structures that we have created for ourselves is nothing but all arising out of this boundaries, this separation between I and the other. And we all deep down have this sense that we are all connected. We all have that. We all, we deny that, that's another thing. We do not want to live that, that's another thing. But we all have deep down this sense that we are all connected, that we are all one. In today's meditation session, I implore you to go into this oneness, go into this sense of dropping the boundaries, dropping the I, dropping the you, dropping the concept of I and the other, and allowing your consciousness to naturally decide whether there are boundaries or there are no boundaries. Just in the silence of meditation today, as we go along for the next minutes, give yourself this chance to drop these boundaries of I and the other and see the experience of this session, the experience of this dropping the boundaries. What is it? Is there a natural sense of connection? Or is there a natural sense of isolation? Or is there a natural sense of of something else. So give yourself this chance, allow your natural sense to decide what your consciousness experiences in the session as we proceed in the meditation. How we are going to do this is very simple. We are going to start with relaxing ourselves, coming in the present moment by focusing on our breath. And as we have settled in, we will go to step number two and I'll guide you through all these during the meditation but I'm telling you them uh, to you upfront what we will do. In the second step, you will look at your body from inside. We have looked at our body from outside. When we look at our hands, when we look at the mirror, when we look at our entire body, we always look at the body from the outside. Today, in the meditation, we will look at the body as if we are looking at it from inside. And see if there are any boundaries. Chances are, 
that you would not feel the sense of any boundary. If that's the case, good. If that's not the case, allow yourself to drop the sense of boundaries, the sense of separation and let it fade as much as possible. As a next step, the third step, we'll allow our consciousness to naturally expand, to naturally feel, first of all, everybody around in this room, then the surroundings bigger than the room, then hopefully the entire world. Just give it a try and see if that happens naturally, if that happens to you in your sense, in your feeling of meditation. And as an end, we come back, we come back to the body, we come back to the sense of our own individuality, of our own physical body, and sit in silence for a few minutes if you guys are up for it until that time. Any questions? All right, then we will start the meditation. And before we start, maybe one request from my side. Um, and these are learnings from previous sessions. If you guys are not able to sit in the cross-legged posture, there is no necessity for you to sit in the cross-legged posture. Take a seat next to the wall and put your back on the wall. Try not to touch your head on the wall. If you even that posture is difficult, keep your legs straight. Sit in a posture that is comfortable to you. That is the most important for you and for the entire group. Because what we shouldn't do is disturb others, disturb ourselves. There might be noises, enough noises of, of the trams from outside, but we try our best to maintain the silence, to let the energy of the group go into silence together. And if we feel uncomfortable, if we feel that there is some kind of discomfort, let's not disturb others. Let's try to make sure that our presence is not hindering other people's meditation and the entire group. With that, I would like you to close your eyes. Just feel comfortable, be here as we start the meditation. Close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale from the nose and exhale from the nose. Take another deep breath. And exhale. Keep your spine erect. Back straight. Shoulders down. Head straight. Face relaxed, eyes relaxed, forehead relaxed, and a gentle smile on your face as you sit in for this meditation for the next minutes.
at all times keep on breathing as naturally as you always do. And gently bring your awareness to your breath and observe your breath rising as you inhale and falling as you exhale. Bring your awareness to your breath and just keep it there. Allow your body to, to settle in this natural sitting posture. And your awareness to remain focused on the breath Feel your breath rising and falling and with every fall let go into relaxation. Allow yourself to be here in this moment as you remain aware of your breath.
now go inside yourself and observe your body from inside as if you're looking at the body from inside Feel the sensations of the boundaries of your body as you're looking at it from inside. Keep on looking at your body from inside and feel all the boundaries of your body, all the sensations that make those boundaries. Feel that you could move beyond these boundaries. Feel that you could reach beyond these sensations. And allow your consciousness to expand beyond your own boundaries. Feel that you could already 
feel larger than your body and let it expand Feel that you could reach out to everyone in this room. No separation between you and your surroundings. And you could feel everyone in this room. Sitting here in silence as one consciousness. Allow yourself to feel this oneness, this connection in this room with everyone. The entire room is one consciousness. And allow it to expand further. Include the surroundings of this room. outside this room, in your awareness and include it in this one consciousness
everything that is happening outside is happening within this one consciousness within you Remain aware of this feeling of oneness. Remain aware that there is no separation between you and the other. Allow this feeling to expand further and include the entire world in your sense of oneness. In this no separation between anybody and anything. Allow yourself to go deeper in this feeling Remain aware of this sense of oneness with everyone. With everything that comes in your consciousness. All noises, all other sounds, all images, ideas, thoughts, include them in this oneness. Let go of all boundaries.
stay like that. Stay silent and with the sense of no boundaries whatsoever. Remain aware and silent. No more movement. Remain absolutely still. Remain absolutely silent and aware. Allow yourself to settle in the stillness and silence. Maintain this feeling of oneness
stay here. Stay just like this. Absolutely still. Silent and aware. Bring your awareness back to your body. And feel all the sensations that you have in your body right now. Just observe all the sensations in your body. Don't react, don't judge. Just remain aware. Keep on breathing as naturally as you always do. Maintain this silence this stillness, this openness and very gently and slowly you may open your eyes Take your hands together and rub them. Put them on your face. Take a nice deep breath. Take the hands on your head. and down to your entire body.
in the last minutes of this session. If you have any questions, I know that after sitting in more than half an hour in silence, sometimes we don't want to talk and there's nothing to share. But still, if something comes to your mind, something comes to your heart, something that bothers you, something that you think is useful to share with the others. Now is the time to share. If not, then it's also good. Everybody is super silent. I hope for the good reasons. If you have any questions later, you can always write me an email on hello at dhyanse.com or just find me on social media. Put your questions there. I'm always happy to support your meditation practice, to support your meditation journey. And if there are any questions that come along, any suggestions that you have, any topics that you would like me to cover in these sessions. For those who are new, I don't know if you know that in every session we have a different theme. We take a completely different route to meditation. In today's session, we, we took a a drunk route in previous sessions. We had different ways of entering into the silence of meditation. So if you do not resonate with one way, you have many other ways in which you can do that. My effort is to share all what I know, all my experience of meditation through these sessions with these different ways which you can bring into your life and keep meditation not just as a Monday evening session but also a daily practice. If that happens, I'll be the happiest person in the whole world. Thank you very much. Namaste. Yes? No problem. Bahuddin. Bahuddin. Um, yeah, sure. Rumi, he, his most famous document is called the Masnavi. And of course, it's written in originally in Persian, so you would have to get a translation. But the translations in English or in any other language are equally beautiful because the expressions are so vivid, so deep, that no matter which language you pick up, the, uh, you'll get a taste of what he has to offer. And if you want to read what his father wrote, there is, uh, in English, the book is called The Drowned Book. And uh, it's, it's, again, a collection of uh, short poems, short instances, um, which are very, very colorful. And you'll be surprised by, uh, by the colors or by the, by the vividness of, of this literature from 13th century. And in a lot of it, you can see and translate this into your daily life as well. Um, it just adds a totally different taste to, to your reading, to your, um, to your daily sense of life. So go check out these uh, two guys, Rumi and his father, Bahuddin, or any other Sufi mystic. The full Sufism is, um, is, is a collection of all these um, pieces on love and, and, and on devotion and on many other related topics. Um, it, 
if it's your taste, if love is something that you want to explore, um, what does it mean to have love not just for oneself but for the entire world? Um, these are the best guys to, to refer to, these are the best mystics to, to follow and to, uh, to get tuned into, into what they have to offer as love, which we all have as well. <laughs> Thank you as well. Anything else? Otherwise, uh, we call it a nice evening and, and, and see you guys next Monday from 7 to 8 p.m. once again. Thank you very much. Thanks again. Thank you. <laughs>